Hey, welcome back everybody. It's good to see you. If you have watched our channel at all, you know that we are dyed in the wool camp cooks. We like to cook with charcoal and fire. We love cast iron and we love carbon steel. But you know, recently I had a conversation with a gentleman who was starting a new cookware company. He told me in the process of doing his due diligence, he found out that the vast majority of folks out there utilize their camp stoves to do their cooking. And he said, a lot of folks really prefer nonstick. We do have some nonstick, traditional nonstick cookware at home that we use very infrequently. But the nonstick that we use at home more than anything else are the green pan ceramic coated pans. The ceramic coating doesn't give off or doesn't have the potential to give off uh, gases when you overheat it. Um, it's doesn't use quite as many of the nasty chemicals, or at least I don't think it does. It's sort of a more inert product, so it, it, it's touted as being healthier cooking. Now, whether it is or isn't, I'm not going to dive into that debate, but um, I do know that there are some downsides to traditional nonstick. So we've gone the green pan route, and we've been extremely happy. Now, REI and Green Pan have just come out with a set of camping friendly cookware that we thought we had to give a try to see if it worked for all of you folks that like to cook over a stove and like nonstick at camp. So, what do we have? We have the Green Pan Clip Series, which is a ceramic coated nonstick pan that has a removable handle. We picked up the 10 inch skillet and we also picked up the two piece saucepan set. And we're gonna check this out. We're gonna see how it works. We're gonna see if this would make a viable alternative to the ceramic coated magma cookware that we think is the best cookware on the market for non-stick, nesting, RV, trailer, camper kind of cookware. So we're gonna see if this stuff would be a great alternative for the more budget friendly options. So let's take a quick look at the pan. The uh, marketing says that it has a detachable handle and it has the diamond reinforced ceramic, which is I believe what's on our pans at home. It also is free of some of the nastier chemicals that go into non-stick cookware making. So let's see what we have. All right. You have a non-stick skillet. inch non-stick skillet you can see it's high sided it's rounded it's almost like a french skillet so you could sear in this you could cook hamburgers you could also do a stir fry looks like a very um, usable pan for camping it is a hard anodized aluminum base has the owner's manual and it has the detachable handle and one thing i can see right off the bat with the handle it does have plastic parts so you will not be wanting to use this over a campfire. And it looks like it's a two-piece design. You flip the handle to the side and then you push the button down. So if you happen to bump this handle, you're not gonna drop your pan. That's kind of a nice touch. To put it on, you simply connect it and you are connected. Feels solid. I don't think I'd swing it around like a baseball bat, but it does feel solid and easily usable for cooking, pouring, that kind of thing. So there you have it. The saucepans are a 3.3 quart and a 1.7 quart, so very usable sizes for camp. They have the same coating, the same handle, so you get one handle with each pan. Um, one thing off the bat, I can see that I already wish that Green Pan would have done with this pan. Instead of taking the ceramic coating all the way around the lip, I would have liked to have seen them stop in here and having a steel lip here where you could actually use it to kind of tap a pan with the ceramic on the outside um, and being potentially fragile, you wouldn't want to hit this with a um, spoon or anything like that. You would want to kind of be, be careful with that. So let's get these things on the stove and see how they cook. For our cooking test, we're not going to be testing like we do with carbon seal and cast iron as to how it takes a seasoning, does it release well. This is nonstick, it's going to. So we're going to test this to see if it browns well. Just make sure it doesn't stick. I don't expect any problems there and just overall how it handles the temperature and, and how, how it cooks. So let's get started. We've given the pan the initial scrub and we've taken a look at the instructions and some things that you need to really keep in mind when you're using a green pan and probably any non-stick at all is that these do not require high heat. 
So medium heat at most is fine with these. The green pans tend to heat up and get hot pretty easily, so you don't need a, a lot of heat. It says you can use metal utensils in this. I would uh, steer away from metal utensils as much as you can. I think it just helps preserve the, the surface and the finish better. And it also says it's dishwasher safe. I would avoid that if you can as well. And also don't use cooking spray. It says it can gum up the nonstick surface. Um, these are made with a Magneto 2 induction technology, whatever that is, but it does mean that it can work on an induction stove too if you have that in your overlanding rig. So, um, also one other thing to note, given the shape of the pan and the high sides, by having this a 10 inch pan, you do give up some cooking surface to have those high sides. So in comparison to something like a Banks Frybake 10 inch, you've got much higher sides and a smaller cooking surface. So I don't know how much that's gonna impact anything, but I just did wanna point that out. So let's get the stove started. We're gonna warm up the pan for about a minute and see how it browns our spam. Okay, our stove is now heated up. We're gonna turn down the fire a little bit. As I said, we don't want a super hot flame. We're gonna heat the pan up for about a minute. And don't heat these things up dry. You do need a little oil in the green pans. You don't need as much as you do in cast iron or carbon steel, but you do want to have a little oil in there. At this point, in goes the Spam. I've not cooked on green pans over this particular stove, so we may end up having to turn the fire up a little bit, but I'd rather err on a caution of a little too cool to start with and giving these time to cook as opposed to trying to crank it up. Okay, so far this pan is doing a wonderful job browning this Spam. So I think at this point I'm uh, quite happy with the results. Okay, we've got some great looking Spam here. So let's get that out. Just going to attach the handle. Move this pan over and scoop it out. It's so slippery that we could easily pour this out, but I want to try to keep the oil in here for our eggs. So let's get this out and get the eggs on. Now one thing you can see from the shape of the sides, it makes for a great stirring, but sometimes it doesn't give you the best surface to get under something. So that's one thing with these types of pans. They are difficult sometimes to scoop things out of. All right, pans back over the heat. I'm going to remove the handle. It says not to leave the handle on when you're cooking. Don't want to overheat it and melt anything. And in go our eggs. All those eggs are cooking. Let's have a look at the uh, saucepans and see what they look like. And again, a 3.3 and a 1.7 quart. So again, we have our owner's manual. We have the two pans that are nice size for being outdoors, and this is a nice touch. They also give you the spacer to put between those. You don't want to nest these without some spacer in the middle to protect the coating. So they do provide that, that's a nice touch. The same thing, anodized aluminum bottoms. Now one thing I think, as I first look at these, is that it would have been nice to, oh, also, comes with a handle. So one thing that I uh, will say about these pans is that I wish they could have found a way to include a lid of some sort uh, on the magma pans. And if you haven't seen my magma video, um, I'm going to link it right up here. On the magma, the handle attachment is on the side and the handle clips in from the bottom so you can have a lid on it, clip the handle on, remove it. In this case, you would have to actually remove the lid to attach the handle and then move it. Not terrible, but a little bit of an inconvenience relative to the magma. But one thing I did notice is that magma, when they provide their lid, it's a universal lid. So it fits on multiple sizes. And sure enough, that lid would work on these pans as well. So if you're looking for a lid, I'm sure you can find one somewhere. The magma lid would work just have to remove it when you want to attach the handle. Okay, we're getting ready to turn the eggs just to see how slippery this pan is. Definitely non-stick. So let's get these turned. Of 
finish cooking and do a wrap up of this pan. So at the end of the day, after our testing, what do I think about the REI Green Pan collaboration? Our local ducks certainly have something to say about it, <laughs> but what do I like about it? Well, first off, I like the removable handle. This is a well-designed handle. It makes packing the pans easier. It's not as flimsy as some of the fold-down handles. And I like the double latch where you can't accidentally disconnect it. Cooking performance was excellent. It browned the meat well. Uh, the eggs slid around like crazy. So I think the cooking performance of the green pans is very good. I think the shape of the fry pan is nice. It's got high sides. It is able to cook multiple types of dishes. You can stir fry in it. You can sear in it. So I think the shape is good. And it's not cheap, crappy aluminum. Now this pan is a couple pounds, including the handle. And the saucepan set is over three. But you're not getting cheap aluminum that you're going to burn through. This is seriously good stuff. It uh, is induction ready. You can use it over a stove. Honestly, a well-embered fire, I would use these over, but don't make a habit because you can't overheat the green pans and ruin the surface. So as long as you treat these things well, they will last. So I think it's a great set of cookware. What don't I like? Well, first off, it is a nonstick set of cookware. The problem with any nonstick cookware is that it is not a lifetime purchase. Over time, this will degrade. Any nonstick surface degrades over time. So unlike cast iron and carbon steel, which you buy once and it always gets better, this is always going to get worse over time. So just plan on having to buy another set down the road. I also wish that they would have not extended the ceramic coating around the edge of the pan. On the lip, I would have liked to have seen that be raw aluminum so that you could tap a uh, utensil on it. And I would also have liked to have seen a, some sort of lid option for the saucepans. But in reality, those are not very big cons when you think about the benefits of these pans. They're going to clean up easier with much less water. They use less fuel because they heat up so efficiently. So you're not having to carry as much fuel. They're, they're nice to cook in and they work on everything. So overall, I think they did a great job and I think it's a great buy for anybody looking for nonstick for camping. So as always, if you like this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Give us a like and a thumbs up and share this with your friends who might be interested. As always, take care and we'll see you outdoors.